the worst show on the internet. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, goblins unite. I'm back from having COVID. And it sucked, but hey, let's get right into it. Townhall.com, Biden visibly angry. I don't want to hear any more of the lies about reckless spending. We're changing people's lives. Uh, let's hear right from the source. I don't want to hear any more of these lies about reckless spending. We're changing people's lives. Ooh, calm down, Grandpa. Calm down. <laughs> Townhall.com replied to their own tweet. He's an angry elf. <laughs> uh, Lydia Letterman, Sour Patch Lids. Love Sour Patch Lids. He sure is changing people's lives. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I pumped gas yesterday. <laughs> Rhea. Yep. Thanks to CMS mandate, I lost my job and insurance for my whole family. I'm very sorry to hear that, Rhea. Or Rhea. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, Girl Friday 85. No. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of retarded. Oh. Bill. Fact check, true. Poverty does in fact change people's lives. Um, I'm gonna leave that in. I, uh, COVID was no joke. Uh, it really took a uh, toll on me. I'll try not to do it again. Ideation Nation. How are special interests spending like infrastructure helping poverty? How do the poor pay for gas or food these days? Um, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. Adam in H-Town, Texas. Not a biologist. Neither am I. $5 gas definitely changes people's lives. Oh, replying, you ho salo. Gas is 10, 10, 10, 50 a gallon in Europe. Five is literally nothing. Jerk off, idiot. You jerk off. Oh, oh. Replying to him, CLG, literally shut the hell up. <laughs> uh, Mr. St Strategery? <laughs> oh, there you go. Old man yells at son or something like that. I can't remember. Craig, that's a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> oh, butts. Oh, we love butts. There we go. Give it up for butts. Sundowning a bit early. Ah. Uh, Crispy replied, 4561, totally agree. My father passed away from Alzheimer's and he acted similarly. Yeah, I had my grandmother pass away from it. It's, uh, it's not a joke. Uh, Ultra Jet Burner MAGA. <laughs> That's like the name, man. <laughs> Joe, don't call me wrong or I'll get mad and show you how unstable I really am. <laughs> yep. Pat Vesperman, he is changing people's lives. All right. For the worse. Oh, God. I'm kind of retarded. I'll learn to read one day, I promise you guys. Uh, Animal Vowel. You're changing people's lives, all right, for the worse. Okay, how many times am I going to say that? Biden, not my president. Uh, but literally is your president. That's the saddest part of this whole shit. Old man yells at Cloud. That's it. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, Paul Garcia replied, that is hilarious. Not sure why I never saw the connection between POTUS and Homer Simpson's father before. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I do like that. O'Callaghan, I think people have all had... I'm kind of retarded. COVID brain. I think people have had all the change they can stand. Very true. Very true. Bye -bye. Uh, Shane Gates Roberts. The people in question live entirely in the president's imagination. But that's besides the point. Uh, yeah. Agree with that. Soft Kitty, he's 100% right. He is changing lives, just not for the better. All right. Uh, Marcy, Marcy, Mercy, Marcy, Ultra, Mag. I'm not pressing the button this time. I wonder how many are in that audience. I wonder that too. Um, M. Marin, he's changing people's her lives, all right. My 401k speaks to that. <laughs> I know. Mine is, uh, it's not good. Anyway, um, uh, Cookie Monster replied, yep, he canceled my retirement at Instigator. <laughs> uh, 
Eric Allen and at Biden insult bot says what? Joe Biden insult bot. Take a ruby red look at the sniveling hippie armpit. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. Uh, Ultra MAGA American Patriot. <laughs> yep, they're changing people's lives all right for the worse. Ah, uh, it's so much hope for you, Ultra MAGA American Patriot. Just by the name, but no. No. All right, let's see if we can find somebody saying something original. Free thinker. Uh, he is certainly changing people's lives. We cannot afford to pay our bills because of this spending. Uh, well, at least he was kind enough to explain why it's for the worse. Ah. Uh, uh, Laszlo's Tooth, or Laszlo Tooth replied, I'm pretty pleased with my life as it is, and see no need for change, and I don't want it imposed from outside. If it's about what Biden wants to hear, let's find the music of his choice, give him his headphones, so he can listen alone and stop doing harm. I agree with that. Andrew Ryan, I'm conservative, but the Trump admin piled up over $7 trillion in debt. Both parties need to balance the budget and reduce the debt. Okay. I I agree with that. Fine. Uh let's see. <laughs> Roco cat? <laughs> A raging, whispering, flubbing all signs. <laughs> uh Misky Perez? I think it's it. Miss Miss Sky Perez. Okay. Anyway, love what he does, the old man get off my lawn voice. Yeah, I appreciate that too. <laughs> Whisk out two equals nuked. I support Taiwan. <laughs> Not a joke. Not a joke, folks. Not a joke. I gotta get that on the soundboard. Uh, bubble trousers. We'd essentially all be better off right now if the office of the presidency was vacant. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Let's do a few more here. Joel Heyman. Yeah, lies. We totally deserve this collapse. <laughs> uh, ooh ha 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 replied. When does the build back better start? Oh my God, guys. <laughs> There's so much hate in here. I mean, hey, I, I respect it. You know, I understand totally. Things not looking good. Scott Akos, unless you're rich. Scott Akos, spoken like a man who is insulated from the devastating consequences his spending, spending will ultimately have. Yes, because he's a career politician and he's rich. <laughs> He'll never have to worry about any of this shit at all. <laughs> uh, Dr. E. Garble Garble. Uh, going broke will definitely have an impact. <laughs> Uh, and last but not least, because this just seems like a total pile on, and you know what? Uh, I think it's deserved, but uh, anyway, Tony Cuevos. When I was a kid back in Scranton, a wheel fell off my canoe, which made me wonder how many pancakes fit in a doghouse. None, because ice cream doesn't have bones. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Oh. Anyway, good to be back. I miss doing these. Um... Again, that uh, really took it out of me. Um, but anyway, I love you very much. Thanks for watching. Twitter puke. Please like and subscribe. I love you very much. Bye.